today Sylvie and I are in Cambridgeshire and we're starting the first walk of 2022 in the village of Orwell. Orwell is situated on the A603, just a few miles to the southwest of the city of Cambridge. As we approach Orwell High Street, we come to St Andrew's Church. This church was originally founded in around 1150 AD, and the tower was added approximately a hundred years later. The church was built mainly from a material known as clunch, which was quarried from a massive pit on the hilltop overlooking the village. And this is where we're heading next. The clunch pit covers around four and a half acres and dates from the early medieval period. The church and several other buildings in the village are made from material excavated from here. Over the years the derelict quarry had become severely overgrown but was cleared towards the 1980s and was then declared a site of special scientific interest. Well, after our visit to the church and the quarry, we're setting off through the village high street towards our next destination. As we leave Orwell, we take the road that leads towards the village of Barrington. Sylvie and I are not going directly to Barrington, as there is another interesting feature that I was hoping to look at on the way. About three quarters of a mile along the road, we go through a gate and onto a footpath. This footpath leads to Willsmere Down Farm and it's here that it goes off in two different directions. We're turning left and heading in a northerly direction. This direction takes us up a hill and eventually brings us to a wooded area.
Once we're in the wood, we turn right, and it's along here we should be able to see the other feature. Not long after we set off on this path, we get a magnificent view of the Mullard Observatory, which is owned by Cambridgeshire University. Eventually we get a glimpse of the other feature, which is the huge lime quarry near Barrington. This quarry was in operation for decades, providing material to make cement. It ceased operating around 2008, and there are now plans to turn it into a nature reserve. After about a mile we emerge onto a road that takes us down into the village of Barrington. As we approach the village we cross a railway line and this was where lime from the quarry was transported away. We eventually arrive into the centre of Barrington Village with its mile long road running through the centre. Sylvie and I stop for a drink at the village pub, the Royal Oak, which is a beautiful old timber frame thatched building. It's very popular and it's usually very busy. Oh well, our first major walk of the season and a welcome drink. Cheers, Sylv. Cheers. <laughs> After a refreshing drink, we set off to explore the village, which has one of the largest village greens in England covering some 23 acres. The village green is lined with many old charming character cottages, making it one of the prettiest villages in Cambridgeshire. When I stopped to get a shot of one particular cottage, the owner, a delightful old lady in her 80s, invited us in to have a look round.
The windmill in Barrington was built around 1822, but it fell out of use about a hundred years later, and it was later converted into a residence. After an hour of walking round the village, we decided to head back to Orwell. We had hoped to venture on to another village, but being late March, the daylight hours still weren't long enough. We leave Barrington at the opposite end to which we had arrived and begin to walk back to Orwell. About a mile outside the village, we turn onto a footpath that takes us across some fields back towards Orwell. By the time we'd arrived back in Orwell, we'd been walking for about five hours and covered approximately eight miles. It's been quite an enjoyable walk. 